brains that went behind yeah. you developing the logo first and what was the idea behind the company? Most important thing which I felt, uh, which is like the germination of this company, when the logo will come. The first thing which I realized that uh, uh, when I left my cushy job and I was thinking to build something uh, of my own, so I was asking myself, what is it? What is it that I should do? Should I do uh, consulting or do I do agency? So this country, this part of the country, uh, the thousands and thousands of agencies which is mushrooming everywhere. My idea was to make uh, something which is, uh, it should not be, uh, I don't want to be another agency uh, among the you know, list of thousand agencies. So I want to create certain amount of differentiation. So before doing that differentiation, I was asking myself, what is it? What is the requirement? What is not? It is not that what I want to do. It is that what is the pain area the industry has? Then I realized that the biggest pain in this industry is uh, knowledge. Most of the agency in this country I worked. The top big agencies I worked. It was being a, a marketing head, a brand head, a CMO or a digital head. I worked with all agencies in this country. The big one, the biggest one. Unfortunately, I have not worked with small agencies. So I understand the bigger agency have a, one thing which is very uh, common is that they have a huge knowledge gap. When I say knowledge, they don't understand business. They understand uh, creativity very good. So the most of the agencies are very creatively driven. They are very creatively arrived. They are very creatively involved. But they are very far away from the digital world. They are very far away from how uh, the business has moved, has changed for the last uh, 10 years. So I found there's a huge uh, requirement with all the CMOs are facing, which all the top brands are facing. Then I realized, okay, if I have to, if I uh, have to build an agency or, or if I have to build a consulting, let me study. Agency I've studied for the last uh, 10 years or maybe 20 years I've been studying. Then I said, okay, let me understand and learn how uh, consulting work. Then I started reading for almost, it was almost a three to six month of study where I studied Accenture, Deloitte, KPMG, Ernst & Young, you name it, all agents uh, consulting, uh, you know, way of working. Then I wanted to understand how they work. Then I went very deep. Now no one, no consulting will come and tell me what it, what is it that they do, how they pitch. I need to figure out. So I used a smart method of reading 100 pages of each consulting website. So Accenture will have three Accenture or four Accenture, one for America, one for Mexico, one for India, one for Southeast Asia. I started deep diving and reading 100 first pages of all consulting. When I read, then I started picking up the phrase and the adjective and the verb they have used. Because I wanted to see, because no one will tell me the essence of Accenture, Deloitte, McKinsey. I wanted to have a very fair idea how they present themselves to the country, to the business world. While doing that, once I did that, then I collated all those verbs, actions, presentations, type, the way they uh, present themselves in blocks. Then I started seeing is there any commonality in these blocks. I saw a pattern in the in the in the block. Then I speak spoke to few of my friends who are a consultant who are in Accenture and McKinsey and Deloitte and I started speaking because uh, consulting business is so large and huge one guy will not know what other department is doing because uh, they are all separate, they are very large, they have many layers but it was very difficult for me to understand how the layer works and then sporadically I was trying to meet people who work in the industry I was meeting them and validating this is how you do, is this what you work then I got a sense of it. Then I created my first architecture of working. So my way of working is not uh, creative driven. So when I when there are people who came to me in initial stage thinking I'm an agency, it took me almost one year to prove I am not an agency. People start saying, "Oh, ha, a digital service is an agency." I said, no, 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 I'm not an agency. So how do I differentiate? 
the the structure the core competence or the core structure came from understanding of other consulting uh, infrastructure background process how they work started reading their case studies many case studies are uh, are downloaded to the field and started it was almost a six month it was it was almost a six month deep study the moment i understood i could sense i could sense there's a huge uh, i could see a is a is a triangle the top of the triangle is the big four big five big six big eight the lawyer of the world the sage of the world and below there are individual people who are retired who are consulting one or two places so there's a huge gap between the lower part and the top then there's a huge problem smes of the world the small company like a 1000 crore company or 5000 crore company they can't hire accenture there's accenture or deloitte or kpmg or mckinsey big people or a big four people they will they it's very costly you can't hire them because there's a huge amount of money required so then i figure out this is the sweet spot where i behave like a consulting i behave like what they do do in a very small level i hit the box of so what i did is a perceptual map what are my strength what are my uh, weaknesses where i can hit and get the smes chunk of this right? so this was the crux of building digital fellows i was very much sure that i will never get into agency business so what happened when you start your business lot of people comes to you and ask uh, okay we have a facebook campaign will be interested you you do digital right we have uh, can you do some postings so that a political big party campaign and say will you post I said I don't do that. Uh, there are people who came to me. We have a, a lead uh, problem. Can you solve that with lead generation? I said I don't do that. So I started rejecting with a simple answer, saying no. I'm not that. So I'll never do that. And that is a point. I have. There was a choice. I was leading. It was self-funded company. On the top of that, business is coming and you're rejecting. because i wanted to be sure that i will always get into consulting business and never agency the moment i pick up one small job i will be known in the community this is another agency trying to be different but they are any agency